Dave Cousins, Brady Ellison, Matt Yaka. Yep, the Americans are out there. Oh, they were the top seeds in qualification. Shooting for the bronze medal, this is the he's, team he's of Italy. Great Britain. James Annal, Patrick Houston, Carl Richards. Americans beat Australia, 63-57 in the quarterfinal, but were beaten by Sweden. Surprisingly, maybe in the semis, 61-57. Sweden finishing as the fifth place qualifiers, and then Great Britain, well, Qualified in third place. Beat Germany in their quarterfinal 58-54, but lost to Slovenia 60-55. The semi final. Team USA will be so shooting. Some first very good archers the out there. Away. Lucio Sullivan. Dave Cousins back out there again. Brady Allison looking for more medals. And in that uh, British team, of course, Pat Houston out there again. So looking forward to seeing how this one unfolds. American team, so strong. It's going to be Allison to lead off. Shooting at Opening the arrow from Brady Ellison. 20 meter target below. And we're waiting for the call on that one. And it looks like it might be a six. Here comes Dave Cousins. The USA not wasting any time at all. Cousin Dave, six points. Plenty of time, none of it wasted. There is a 4-5 liner, probably a 4, but solid shooting from Team USA to start out. A good start all there from the Americans. Yeah, all Next. three USA archers have been on this field already today. Here comes Pat Houston. Whereas only ABA. one of the GB archers has been on the field today. So, uh, yeah, it's really it's going to be such a good match. Yes, it will be. So... Americans got two start arrows there in their first uh, trio. 15 meter target, I should say, on this first one. Here's Houston. Six points. He's gone for the middle of the bunny targets. A good start, though, for the recurve archer. And now we get our first look today at uh, the compound archer from. Five. UK, and that's uh, Carl Richards. He's had such a great field year. He's done so, so well. I've, I've uh, shot with him before at Target stuff, but to see him come here to a World Championships for field is so great to see him. This is James Annell, the 33-year-old, Bevo Archer. This is his fourth World Archery Field Championships. An experienced international competitor. And a four on that shot. So we've got a draw unofficially. However, a couple of liners for Team USA. We may see some so movement 15, on the points. We know that after the judges are likely to lock in here. Official score. See if uh, it's pretty good angle on that first shot. You're looking at 40 something degrees. The same. And as a result, the archers have to cut a certain amount. Dave Cousins, remember, already won gold today in the mixed teams competition in compound. Ellison Bronze difference. in the mixed in the recurve teams competition. And Houston just pipped for that medal earlier on in the day in the mixed recurve competition, wasn't he? Lucy for Bronze. Yeah, I was just thinking when, uh, when we saw Brady go and then uh, Patrick go. It's uh, reliving some memories from this morning. That's right. It's deja vu all the over USA again, as they say. And <laughs> GBR are in a dead heat. We'll see heat if it goes that way. But so we can now tell you that the American 15, scores 15 have been locked in as well. So it's a uh, tied first in 15 so, points each. We go back to the original shooting order. 
going to be USA so shooting first. They move over to the other side of the platform two. now, and uh, they're going to go at the 60 meter target now. With the 80, 80 centimeter target face. So Brady Brian Allison to go Allison first. first. X six is a great shot. Six. Hey, don't blame me. Gabba called it a ten. Dave crushes the six. This is the trickier target on this finals field and they are doing remarkably well the USA team of course Yak has already shot this today so we'll see what he can do now yeah and it's worth mentioning again that he's going at a target that isn't 60 meters Four points. it's a 45 meters away his one pretty good for a guy left his sight home George Tekwichoff. So 16 the, uh, locked in by the Americans. Sorry, Lucy. George Tekwichoff, the in house commentator there. He's uh, got some good banter for the uh, archers from USA. Yes, absolutely. Although they, they'll be probably doing their best to try and, try and ignore as much as possible because they want to be in the zone, don't they? Indeed. Pat Houston, four points. Here's Richards again. Carl Richards, it looks like a 6 5 liner. Lovely shot. Six points. Wasn't it? I'm not biased. But no, I'm a little hadn't bit biased. noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at James Annell. And Jim with a three. Well, so it's a three point advantage for Team USA. It'll to be the Americans GDR now first after a tied we first still. end. Looks like a three-point buffer Britain, for the Americans James hitting down and Patrick on two. And Carl Richards versus the team of the United the ground. States of America, Dave Cousins, Brady Ellison. Well, great effort from Cousins Matt so far. Yaka. Two maximums. Right now, Ellison's been on form as well here. Two Lucy with a five and a six. We've got a yeah, and it's, it's nice to see next. Dave and you know, getting Bruce a six on this, uh, that first target because he did get a five when he was in his mixed team. So, um, yeah, it's good to see his comeback. He's a very good archer, isn't he? Dave Cousins, one of the very best, really, that we've seen. And still performing at a high standard. Now I'm looking back here and against his record here, Lucy. I mean, he won, won, his, won his first gold medal for the turn of the century in uh, the world target championships 1999 he won his first gold medal and here he is 23 years later still doing it yeah he's been he's been a really really good archer for as long as i've been shooting and it's just so great that you know there's longevity in this sport and people can keep going and keep winning are still going to keep going too. He's 45. He's still got plenty of years States. left in him. And put that in perspective, he's actually won his first gold medal, first. a world, world title, 1999, before several of the other uh, archers here at this event were even born. Yeah, amazing track record. And he's had a great, great week as well. Back in action for this bronze medal men's team world championship match in Could Yankton. Could get even better for Cousins in the individual as well. 
So here we go with in number three. Houston to go first at the Mr. Houston target. A six. And uh, really the way, the way the British team are, are positioned here, three points down, you really want three sixes here. Six points. Great Britain bringing the heat. Here's two of them. I was willing that in for him. Oh, you did a great job. <laughs> Let's of have a look at forward, forward for yes, the Bebo Archer. Yes, for the Archer, so. yep. And that was probably not what he wanted there. There's a two. Yeah, James Annell not quite finding his range at the moment. Yeah. The shame, the shame is that you already know that's not what you wanted. And to have that, you know, you're waiting for the American team to shoot their shots. It's, uh, it's got to be difficult to watch. Six points for Brady Ellison. Ellison was in the zone there. Cousins was waving his bow all over the place pretty much, but Ellison didn't see any of it. Wasn't put off in the slightest. Looks like a six for Dave Cousins. So Ellison and Cousins continue their excellent form in this bronze medal match. Now Matt Yakka. to give the Americans a very good lead heading into this, to the last end of this bronze medal match. And there's a three for Matt Yaka. You're looking at a total right now of 46 points and a four point advantage for the United States of America. Well, not Matt Yaka's best there, Lucy, the but it's still good enough to to give the Americans a, a one-point buffer on their previous end. So they're looking like they might be leading by four now. Yeah, it's um, it's tricky because they have the experience already today. So, you know, they know the field. They already, you know, they can get a sense for the atmosphere in that stadium and and the wind and, and where the sun is. So... You know, it's great for them that they've, they've got that advantage. But, um, yeah, we'll see what happens with this shot right up in the tree here. That's exactly right. I mean, James Annell, if he can put one up there, you know, that gold zone, everything could change again. But at the moment, it's the Americans 46 leading Great Britain 42. As you can see from that Just shot, that this is a challenging target. target. Lift. It's about a 40-something degree angle, requiring a substantial cut on the distance. It's a pretty small target face as well up there too. That uh, inner ring is tiny. Sixty centimeter target face, 14 meters away. And it's Pat Houston to go first. Yeah, it's quite a long hold for, for Patrick. So, ah, oh. that's cool. He's uh, giving Chad the all clear to shoot first. Five points, so Pat Houston using his teammate to probably determine whether he's uh, taken enough of a cut on this particular shot.
and that did pay off. That's pretty good. Left and right is not quite on, but up and down, just about perfect. Just a little bit right there for Houston. On so five and four, nine points. Here's James Annell now, stiffs forward. Shooting from the bare bow stick and Jam Jim oh. and all. Oh, yeah, just grabbing the one zone. That's unfortunate. One. Yeah, one of the uh, complications is the recurve in the compound can share information regarding the amount of cut. But the bare bow guys, they have to move to a different target, and that can change the total cut amount because of the angle change. Absolutely. So a target like this, the closer you the get USA, to the USA, 46 to six points behind now. So USA bronze medal. Like the way Cousins ready. and Allison are going here should be within reach. As Brady Allison goes first. Pretty good for a guy that only shoots field archery about once a year. There's a four for so Brady Allison. There's a four for Allison, which means three or higher for Cousins. Five points to clinch. And the there it is. For the United States. So it's Dave all Cousins locked and loaded now for the USA. A great effort from Allison and from Cousins in particular. Yaka, yeah, good support from him too, Lucy. Purposes is match yeah, to Dave's just won the bronze medal and he looks annoyed at that shot, which is crazy. But yeah, they've got one more arrow to go, but they have won the bronze medal. Matt Yaka will still want to finish with a good arrow. Yes, three points, USA. And he finishes with a bronze. three, just to re-emphasize the American team's Great Britain making form it to the in this bronze medal match. Finish with a score of 12 points in that last end, but it is bronze to the American team. In the men's competition, Dave next, Cousins, Brady Allison, and Matt Yacker. The men's team.